Hey everyone, I thought I would film this quick video of this weekly spread I made in my Hobonichi weeks, which I have to be honest, it has been somewhat neglected in the last weeks, but doing this really, really made me want to, I don't know, somehow write something in it because it's just so pretty with the paper and yeah you know hobonichis ah they are just lovely so i'm using the color me happy kit from little rainbow moon and this is a collaboration so um joe from little rainbow moon she made the kit with some of my artwork some is her artwork and then some is mine and it's just the kit is beautiful i'll try to upload this fast i know there are a f still a few available so if you want to get your hands on them um i just gave some of my artwork i don't earn any money if you buy it um, the shop owner gets everything and it's well deserved because the products are really really lovely and fun to use but i just wanted to make uh, that clear and yeah so part of the kit you can see everything that comes in the kit in a dedicated video that hopefully is up already and this is how easily you can make a beautiful rainbow weekly spread in your hobonichi so or whatever planner you're working in of course but if you're familiar with the paper in the hobonichi planners then you know that together with watercolor it's crinkly beautiful magic this paper is super thin but the watercolor it doesn't ruin it it just crinkles it and the paper buckles but it won't bleed through it and it won't kind of destroy it like it does with you know like um cheap like printer paper or something like that so i started with just adding the stickers that correlate with the you know the date of the day and now I'm going to fill these little spaces with kind of a rainbow thing and at the beginning I pulled out uh, my watercolor palette because there is no yellow in the little uh, watercolor palette that you can get with the kit but then I remembered that we have this neo color um, to this pastel that I was using that is also included in the kit now I don't know if everyone gets the same but I got a yellow so I used it and when you mix it well you will see that I manage to get a really beautiful rainbow if I do say so myself <laughs> using the colors in the kit so I kind of mixed that coral with well the yellow kind of zip, zipped in but the five so that's what tuesday tuesday yeah may 5th is beautiful corally and then for the sixth i mixed the coral color with a violet color and it gave me a very very beautiful pink i thought it would be more muted but i think because the coral coral color is so bright um, the pink is still bright and beautiful and then the seventh I try to go violet but you can see that the pink or that coral color just pushes away the violet so uh, maybe I'll go back for another layer but this is just so enjoyable so for the next day I wanted a purple so I mixed the violet with the blue in the kit and it gave me this lovely all of these colors are like these sherbet pastel -y, but still bright i don't know it's it's just magic <laughs> and then we have the blue and then the last one uh, i wish i had another day <laughs> so i would have mixed the blue with the mint um minty turquoise but it's fine it worked uh, it's okay and so yeah there you go and uh, once you let it dry you can just write you know whatever it is you write in your planner and uh, it's so pretty <laughs> i just love <laughs> well i love watercolors but then every time when i discover a new surface i mean this is not new to me but there's something really like really really fun about uh, using watercolors on this particular uh, paper in the Hobonichi, which is also known as Tomoe River paper, uh, which you can get. You can get uh, like inserts made from that paper. You don't have to have a Hobonichi. Yeah, so on the right side, I decided to just make some sort of abstract. This is all in real time. I did not speed this up. You can see just, I mean, the beautiful colors just do the work for you. 
Uh, so yeah, I'm just playing a little bit. I think the what makes these abstract blobs um, kind of really appealing is if you really let the watercolor flow and if you leave some areas that are white or almost white, you know, just have a little bit of that uh, watercolor flowing. I think if you really, really, you know, cover the entire page, uh, sometimes it just looks really messy. And if that's the look that you're going for, go for it. You know, you do you. But I still like to keep things bright. And even though, you know, I could cover the whole thing with these colors and it'll still be bright. <laughs> but I like to leave uh, some white space. And that is it. Uh, the last thing I did was I added a sticker. There's a sheet of cute word stickers. There it is. I don't know if you caught a glimpse of that, but I picked one of the words <laughs> and I'm adding that to the tab. Oh, I forgot to talk about the tabs. There are tabs in the kit. I love tabs. I took two and I stitched them with my sewing machine and then I just added some adhesive and this way you get like a pretty tab on both sides. Also when you flip the page, added a word sticker and then adding some details and that's it. You're done. It's good to go and oh so pretty. So I hope you enjoyed this. Check out Little Rainbow Moon uh, website for this kit and other beautiful, beautiful things. Have a wonderful day. Bye.